folks. Welcome to The Daily Coin. My name is Rory, and today is Wednesday, February the 26th, 2020. Certainly glad that you uh, tuned in today. Have a new uh, guest to welcome to the show. And I'm very excited to speak with uh, Chris. He is the founder and CEO of a company called Coyos. And they are a beverage company. And it's not, we're not talking about Coca Cola or Pepsi. We're talking about something completely different. And I think that you guys are going to find this uh, incredibly informative and exciting. I am so excited about this product. I can't, there are no words. I mean, we've been talking for about a half an hour before this. And I want to give you just a quick rundown on uh, Mr. Miller's uh, background. And he has been serving on the board of directors and executive staff while leading the sales and marketing team for uh, Koyos. And he is an entrepreneur from an early age and his first exit from the company he founded and grew was in 2008 at age 27. He's a very young man. He's very vibrant and he has a lot to uh, he has a good head on his shoulder. I'm very excited once again to speak with him. It's, you can look and see the rest of his bio right there on the screen. And I'm speaking of Chris Miller, who is the CEO and founder of Koyos Beverages. And you can find them listed on the Canadian Stock Exchange under the symbol KBEV. And here in the United States, under the on the over the counter, the OTC market, under the symbol KBEVF. Chris, welcome to the Daily Coin. Rory, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here, buddy. Well, I'm and, really and glad. Yes, to your listeners, we did talk for an hour beforehand about <laughs> all sorts of wonderful topics. So, but yeah, excited to dive in. Yeah, it was. Uh, we had a, we had a really great conversation. I'm sorry that that I didn't have the recorder on because there was some really good stuff going on. But uh, I want to get into uh, what you guys are doing over uh, over at Coyos. It's really cool. I'm really excited, and um, it's a it's like a supplement, but it's not a supplement. It's more. You described it as a functional beverage and as a sparkling water on steroids. And it sounds like, Chris, that it that it would be beneficial to anyone who is looking to supplement their health to help them to uh, help their overall health. And right now with coronavirus, we need help. We need all the help with our immune system and our system in general that we can get. Help me to understand where I'm misreading this or what I'm getting right with the description of your this incredible product. Yeah, I mean, for, you know, uh, we started as a supplement. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we uh, you know, I always joke very, very ignorantly, we got into the beverage business, um, which I'll touch on in a second. But uh, yeah, we're in the functional beverage space. We create we created a very white space product. I mean, people thinking about investing in Coeos or looking at the opportunity, you know, we represent a space in grocery, in retail that that nobody has dominated yet. And we're going to be that person. Um, uh, we, we make the only beverage of its kind in terms of, of its niche you know, high level brain function. Um, and we're the only company right now using mushrooms, MCT oil, um, and all natural products. So yeah, we're a functional beverage, you know, like I said, jokingly where, where it's like sparkling water, but with performance enhancers in it. Um, and so you're going to get hydration or, you know, organic mushrooms, MCT oil, uh, and a lot of flavor too, right? Um, most sparkling waters taste like, you know, you dissolved a Skittle and some water you left out overnight. Uh, ours is not like that. We spent, you know, and for, for some of your more savvy investors, you know, uh, you said something earlier that I, that I think is great. Um, although people minimize it often, uh, and that what people minimize is the technology that really goes into food and beverage products these days. Uh, even Coca-Cola, they, they, there's a reason why they guard that recipe in a vault somewhere, uh, probably guarded by ex Navy SEALs. Um, to the technology that goes into the cans we use nowadays that are BPA free to 
Um, so there's a lot of tech involved in this space. And I think, I think for your listeners evaluating the food and beverage space, food and beverage right now is like tech. There's so much innovation happening. I mean, look at the investments made in Beyond Burger, um, uh, Bulletproof, some of these massive companies that have taken 100, 200, 300 million dollar rounds of financing. I know Beyond Burger is going public and they're talking about how big that IPO or they might have already gone public. I'm, I'm not sure on that. But the, this space that we're in, food and beverage, is a lot like tech, meaning it's incredibly hot. It's incredibly prevalent. Um, it's not going anywhere. Everybody wants to be healthier, happier, better, faster, stronger better looking, younger, that'll never go away. That trend is never. always going to be here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we're on the forefront of one of the biggest trends sweeping the country, which is in the world for that matter, which is um, healthier functional beverages uh, that make a difference. And so um, it's an exciting space to be in. Um, you know, if, and if you look at some of the results we've had in the last year, they're unprecedented. I mean, we went from zero to 4,000 stores in un under 12 months and some of those stores are Walmarts and GNCs. That just doesn't happen. Right. And, and those, it, are, those are massive retail outlets for you guys. I mean, you just don't step into those. I mean, that, so they must, have, they must have seen something in what you have that fits with everything that you've just said, right? 100%. Again, we fill a very white space niche. Um, um, you know, there's other products that are more supplement based that are similar, but, uh, we were the only ones to figure out. So what I was getting at, I was soapboxing a bit, um, just cause I'm passionate about what we do and what we've accomplished, but there's a lot of tech in our beverage too. So if a savvy investor goes, yeah, you, what, you know, what's your, people like to say the word moat, what's your moat, what protects your, your brand, um, is millions of dollars and five years of effort into the actual formula, right? It took a long time to make our product natural, stealth, you know, shelf stable, uh, functional, and taste good, right? Like if, if you've ever had a kombucha, they don't taste good. They're, no, they're terrible. They uh, and so our team looked at the market and we said, I think people are starting to realize, hey, I can have health and have it taste good at the same time. So I mentioned Beyond Burger is one. You know, look at the technology they created. It's a burger. It looks like a burger. It tastes like a burger, but it's not. It's plant based. Halo Top ice cream is another one, which mm -hmm. our Fit Soda line kind of replicates, which I'll get to. But Halo Top said, hey, how do we make organic, healthy ice cream? And it's only 200 calories per pint. Yeah, see, and, and what you're talking about as far as taking more of a health drink, if you will, I mean, you've got, you mentioned the MCT oil, which is made from coconut oil, which is probably the best oil that you, we can put in our in our system. And then the... Uh, Heresium uh, mushroom, which is uh, the more common name is the lion's mane mushroom. I mean, to put these two products into a beverage and to have it taste like something that, that you want to drink, I mean, that in itself is has to be, um, that had to be a chore right there just, just to get that, to get those two flavors to meld yeah. together and to be something that people want to want to actually drink. Yeah, it's uh, and those those two ingredients are trending ingredients. Uh, yes. Whole Foods just put lion's mane mushroom on their top watch list in terms of ingredients, so we're in trend um, there as well. But yeah, I mean, the science that goes into making a beverage really taste good and be that functional is very intense, um, and it takes a long time to get it right. And we got it right, and. You know, again, as a result, Walmart and GNC called us, um, you know, um, in that first year, 4,000 stores and over a million in revenue just doesn't happen. Um, if, if any one of your listeners could send me someone else who's done that, I will send them $100 in cash because it's, it's no, it's rare. It's, it, we're, we're very rare in terms of what we did in our first year. Uh, I think second year, you know, speaking of valuation and where the stock's at now, I think we're probably a little undervalued. Um, I think we're going to eclipse five million to, or more this year, um, and if you do the math, that puts our valuation a little low. Um, I think we'll go from four thousand to ten thousand doors, um, and 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 some of the names that will be included in that list will be some of the other biggest retailers in the world that everybody knows about. Um, and 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 there's a reason for that. Again, we you know we sort of created a white knit a white space niche product that everybody's looking for. Everybody wants. Everybody wants. You know, everyone's starting to understand that too much stimulants are bad. Um, and that they want healthy, functional, organic. And, um, you know, we're sort of on the, on the leading the charge there. 
Yeah, and the and millennials, I mean, that that whole generation, that's all that they want. They they're not really interested because the in the beverage um industry is changing because of this of this particular generation. And my guess is is that the um uh, the Z generation or whatever is after the millennials, my guess is that that will be fortified with that with that group of people as well that who are just now beginning to come into their own as far as being consumers and looking for these types of things. Now, why? What is? Tell me about what the benefits of this beverage are, Chris. I mean, we've talked a lot about some of the ingredients and where you where you can find it and so forth. What's it going to do for me when I consume it? Yeah, so I think you touched on something really important for anybody evaluating markets, right? Um, uh, Molson Coors, who's a we're in Denver, uh, based in Denver, who's a you know homegrown Colorado company. They just announced that they're not they're changing their name to not Molson Beer Company, it's Molson Beverage. Okay. Well, why would a beer company do that? Because they recognize that the global landscape of the of the beverage space is changing. Same with InBev. They want 30% of their entire portfolio to be non-alcoholic, which includes kombuchas, functional beverage. Um, so why would some of the biggest alcohol and beer companies in the world change their entire paradigm? Because of what you just said. That the, that, and what are we going to do when we run out of numbers for these generations? Do we just start letters? Do we start with numbers after that? It's generation one, <laughs> two. Um, anyways, no. So the, the, that I think the younger generation is driving that market and, and they, yes. they push every market. And I think they're going to be bigger than baby boomers. Um, and if you know anything about demographic trends, that should excite you as an investor. Um, I think that group of people too, in terms of investment, if you look at beverage companies, makeup companies, who are the companies that did the best during depressions or recessions? Well, I can tell you monster stock is the hottest stock of the last 40 years. You could Google that. I mean, what they did with their stock is insane. But people will always buy benefit, even in times of recession. So makeup Makes companies, sense. beverage companies always do well during those times because I've worked with kids in bars who will spend, you know, they only make 30 grand a year, but they'll spend $5 on a kombucha every time they go to the store because they understand the value, right? Um, now, right. they may live with 10 roommates, but they're, <laughs> but they're going to spend that money, right? Uh, and we're, we're uniquely positioned to take advantage of that trend. So what does Coeos do? Let me give you the quick background story. I, I got out of college, played football, rugby. I've always been into supplementation. Biohacking is kind of the new term that people love to throw around. Um, it's just a fancy way to say supplementation. Um, uh, so big guy, you know, 260 uh, athlete. Back then, if you didn't do all those things that you did, had to do, you wouldn't be a starter. And so I've always been into how do you make your body bigger, faster, stronger. I got into the work world and realized that my muscles didn't matter. It doesn't really matter how strong you are. It matters how mentally fit you are. And so my theory is that we lived in an industrial age. And blue collar was sort of the thing. And, and now we live in a very analytical age and our brains have not evolved to keep up with the information overload. They just haven't. And you'll, you'll see that in why is it that we, in the most prosperous, wealthiest time in the world, we deal with insomnia, uh, anxiety, depression, because there's too much input. There's, there's too much going on and our poor brains haven't evolved, which is why Elon Musk uh, has come out and said brain functions the new frontier, uh, and he's invested hundreds of millions do of dollars into biotech that will eventually fuse AI into the brain. Um, what we're trying to do, and what I was trying to do, is I finally got prescribed Adderall. I have ADHD, uh, or was prescribed or diagnosed with it, and then also being on the spectrum of autism. So I've always suffered from I call them mental illnesses. I know that's extreme. I finally got prescribed Adderall. Uh, if you ever had any experience with Adderall, it's a pretty nasty drug. Um, and it's, it's highly abused. And I think the next epidemic in our country from a prescription drug standpoint is Adderall. I think stimulants are our next big problem in this country. Um, and so our first product was me working with a bunch of people smarter than me in that world to come up with a supplement that would mimic Adderall. So how do you increase focus, concentration, mood, memory support, memory recall, cognitive ability, without taking a narcotic. Um, and we, we, we developed that. 
Yeah, no, and we developed that and it went crazy and we realized the market was looking for something more than uh, just stimulants, right? So like if I were to ask any of your listeners, if you could be smarter, faster, stronger, work longer, sleep better, um, remember things clearer, would you, would you engage in that? And I think the answer is yes. And so once the supplement took off, Rory, we, uh, we, we decided how do we put this in a delivery system that more people are open to? Um, how do we, how do we get this to the masses and beverage was, um, part of that answer. So, uh, we relaunched the beverage in 2017 and it took off and, uh, here we are today. Well, I'm, I'm really, I, I can't wait to get out and actually try this. I haven't tried it, but I'm going to, because of, of everything that you just said and, and what it, what it's doing and the non-narcotic. Uh, aspect of it. I think that that is, that's a huge part of the go forward. Like you said, Molson beer is now Molson beverage for a reason because people don't want that. They don't want to be, they don't want those, those uh, side effects that go along with the pharmaceuticals. They just don't want them. I mean, nobody does. And, and no, it, I think that that what your what your beverage brings to the table is exactly what I'm looking for is exactly what I need for myself because yeah I don't while I don't suffer with insomnia or a lot of the things that you describe I do I am looking for ways to improve my brain functionality because I'm getting older. I'm 57. I'll be 58 here in, a, in just a short period. I want to keep my my brain functioning at a high level, and yeah, I need no. whatever I can get to help that. I want it. Adderall. That's out. I would never. Yeah. I wouldn't take that with with with, uh, <laughs> with my take it. with my with my organs. Yeah. Right. No, I mean. <laughs> um, we, so a couple things on that. We have brain scans on the site that we work. We work with the same company that trains all the Rockies, the Broncos. Um, and don't hate me if, if you're a listener and you're in St. Louis and you don't like the Rockies. I'm just saying that's who we work with. Uh, or the we did brain, Yeah, we did pr- brain scans that show our product and emphatically enhances the parts of the brain that deal with focus, memory, attention. Uh, but it's all earth grown, right? So it's giving you that short-term benefit and the long-term benefit of rebuilding the engine every time you ingest it. What most people are doing is taking too many stimulants and it's like using NOS in a car. If I hit the NOS button every time I go to the grocery store, the engine's going to blow out. And that's what we're doing to our brains. And so another person people can look up is Dr. Hyman. He's an international bestseller. He wrote a book called Broken Brains. His estimate is that a billion of us worldwide are dealing with broken brains. And it's from bad diet, bad sleep, bad environment, too much technology, and really, the, there's no way to avoid it. And so how do you help fix it? It's preventative. You can take the right supplements, drink the right drinks, and repair that broken brain. And so our mission at Coyos for a long time is how do we help a billion people worldwide have better brain function, live a healthier life? Well, uh, it, it sounds like you're on the right track. I mean... We're getting there. And right now, I mean, when I go to the site, I see that you have four different uh, beverages to offer. And I, I presume that this is merely the beginning and that you guys are going to be um, branching out into a number of different different things over over the course of the next couple of years. And what as I want to kind of shift gears a little bit, um, but it looks like if I if I understood you correctly just a minute ago, Chris, you said that you guys were that you guys were the cutting edge and that you're on the forefront of something completely different. I mean, are you guys faced with, with uh, certain challenges with that? And I'll just introduce the whole idea of more uh, product line. I mean, what is the, what are you guys doing as far as um, your competition, if there is any, and what uh, products are you guys looking at uh, to bring to market? Yeah, we, um, so yeah, I mean, there'll always be competition. In fact, um, uh, I think some of the competition is good, right? I mean, uh, some of the biggest names in the beverage industry have sort of started to copy us, which we're really mm. proud of. Um, 
which just shows you that the trend of nootropics is going to explode. Uh, and we're, again, we're at the forefront of it. So innovation for us is key. I mean, I know that sounds cliche. I think every CEO probably has that sound clip, uh, but it is. I think, I think for us, what's really exciting is I think, I think, think of supplementation. It's always been from the neck down. But really, the brain for us is the next frontier. It's the next, okay, this is aggressive, I know it, but I think brain supplementation and brain augmentation is the next step in human evolution. It really okay. is. And, and it's an exciting, exciting thing to, to contemplate, right? Um, what if we could access more of the brain? What if you could supercharge it somehow? Um, I'm not saying Koyos is necessarily you know, helping people use 10% more of their brain. I can't say that, but we're always pushing the envelope naturally on how we could, how we could, um, you know, outside of inventing a drink with little biochips in it that, that stick to your brain and you, and now you have access to AI in your mind. Um, you know, we're pushing that frontier and it's exciting. I mean, imagine if, uh, you know, there's so many possibilities. I mean, we used to have people call our office who would take the supplement because we have a supplement and a beverage and they'd call us and say, Hey, my dad who had early onset Alzheimer's remembers where his keys are now. Um, and so it's an incredibly exciting mission to be a part of, 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 you know, what if we really could help people evolve? Uh, that's pretty exciting. And so to your point and your question, yes, we're always innovating. We're always trying to make it better. We have a new enhanced coffee line coming out. Um, uh, you know, we put out fit soda and, you know, fit sodas for hydration, which, you know, leads to brain function or better brain function. Um, but we're always pushing that envelope. And I think as we, you know, intend as we increase revenues and we do more raises and we raise more capital, um, yeah, innovating in this space is going to be huge for us and something we're incredibly excited about. And that's, that's part of what this conversation is about. I mean, uh, you guys have, uh, nearly two million in cash and no real debt, so you're pretty healthy as a company. And you're. It sounds like that you guys are are really poised for taking the next step and bringing the bringing the coffee to market and and some of these other other uh, products that I'm sure that are in development. I feel confident that they are. And are you looking at getting into a franchise like Whole Foods, for example, or to launch new products. I mean, how, how is that? Is that, is that the uh, next step? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think the thing that investors don't realize if they've never been a part of food and beverage is that food and beverage is, it's not the fastest growing, um, even though we've proven we can do it very quickly. Um, because the idea being, you don't want to go too wide. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to continue to focus on our partners at Walmart and GNC and grow our footprints there. There's still a lot of growing we can do inside those channels. Right. We're only in, okay. as of today, a thousand Walmarts. There's fifty five hundred. Um, it doesn't mean we'll be the best in all of them. Um, we also have, you know, Sam's Club, which is an affiliate of Walmart. Um, but, yeah, Whole Foods, uh, some of these big natural grocers from Sprouts. Um, all the way to natural grocers are people we've been having conversations with for years. and and um, yeah, we hope to execute on those in 2020. Now, is the and uh, add those natural channels and then more products. All the uh, now you you've made a, a point of saying that these are earth grown, and are you looking at uh, non GMO and uh, certified organic ingredients? And will they and are the products will the products be labeled as such? Yeah, we're non-GMO, vegan, kosher, all that stuff now. Um, we don't have certified organic just because um, some of it's just too cost prohibitive. And to be honest, some of it's just a scam. Um, I agree. Some of it's just BS. So um, our, our Coeos line is as organic and natural as it gets. Yeah, it really is. Um, okay. So, But yeah, those are all things that, you know, we'll continue to innovate on and push as we go down the road. Yeah. So what's more important, certified organic or non-GMO? That's the, that's the question that I that I argue with myself over. It's like, okay, what's more important here? <laughs> I think that's like asking, like, uh, what, what's the better sport, soccer or football? <laughs> I, I don't know. They're both sports. They're both awesome. Uh, I don't know. I think I think everybody's got a different angle. Yeah. Uh, 
I, for me personally, I've reached the conclusion that non-GMO uh, reigns above uh, certified organic. I like both, but if I have to choose one or the other, it would be non-GMO over certified organic for the reason that you pointed out, that some of the, some of the certified organic stuff is a scam. You make a good point, and your listeners should know. I think there's a lot of trickery still in the food business. Yes, um, in fact, I, I know there is because I'm in it. Uh, for instance, I know there's drink companies out there in the world that that list zero calories, and I know those drinks aren't zero calories. Yeah, and it's because there's laws with supplements versus food, and you can, you know, if it's not more than five percent, you don't have to list calories. So I would tell all your listeners too, even if you don't invest in Coriolis, one of the things you'll see in the industry is wide sweeping changes with the way food is labeled, presented. Um, because a lot of people are being tricked and it sucks. Um, yeah, but non GMO, you can't, you, that's, that's a little, that's, that's can't fake it. Yeah. Right. You cannot fake that. That's so that's why I reached the conclusion a couple of years ago that non GMO is more important than, than certified organic because with the certified organic, you can, you can, uh, manipulate the system. So I'm really gr glad to hear that, that you guys are non GMO because that is, really important to me. Now you've, we've listed, people can go find it at Walmart. They can find it at GNC. And are you guys in any of the uh, smaller uh, stores and more regional or local stores where, where people would be able to find it? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, you'll find us, you can use our store locator on our website. Uh, okay. I think, um, uh, Yesterday or two days ago, we announced Bill's distribution in Wisconsin. So you'll see a lot more what we would call C store placement. Um, you know, Seven Elevens, Come and Goes. Um, what do y'all have in the South gas stations? Oh, we we have Seven uh, Eleven and uh, Mapco and those those types. Yeah, you'll start to see us in a lot more of those. Uh, it's, that'll be a big push for us in 2020 as well as con convenient grab and go stores um, with our Fit Soda line. So. Um, yeah, regionally, if you just, if you're out there looking for the product, just go to our store locator or you can always send us an email and we'll help you find a store near you that where you can go grab some, uh, Coyos or Fit Soda. And that's, if you go to, uh, Coyos, uh, beverage, co beverage corp.com, Coyos beverage corp.com. And the link will be in the description box below. Um, Chris, is there anything that we've overlooked that, that you want to leave the uh, audience with? Um, yeah, I mean, whether it's Coios or not, because I can't, I can't tell you what to do or even make a buy recommendation, but I would tell you to look at adding a food and beverage company to your portfolio. I think you're going to see massive growth in this sector, um, not only from a public share standpoint, but from just the industry standpoint, there's so much innovation happening in food and beverage that it's, and it's really exciting to be a part of, right? I mean, um, I, I don't know if you're like me, but I know Rory probably shares my sentiment and I like to do good while I'm doing good. Yes. Uh, and so investing in companies that are helping people live healthier lives and changing the world in terms of our global footprint and, and, um, you know, what we're doing to an environment, whether you believe in that or not, uh, I think is a really cool opportunity. And I think, you know, Coios is a bit undervalued and, 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 um, we have huge, huge things on the horizon. So, uh, we have an entire team that can help you facilitate any decision or give you any more information. If on the website at coyosbeveragecorp.com, you go to the investor tab. Uh, we literally have a, a, a plethora of things that you can dig through and people you can speak with live, um, that can get you more information. So, um, yes. and then hopefully if you don't, if, if nobody invests, uh, I hope you all go enjoy the product and it, and it makes you happy and healthy and uh, brings a smile to your face. At well, the end of the day, so. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Actually, I'm going to, I'm actually going to go out this afternoon and, and check it out and see what's going on. And if you guys want to get, if you do want to get involved with, uh, uh, Coyos beverage, go, like I said, like Chris said, and I said, Coyos beverage corp.com. And you can find them listed on the Canadian stock exchange under the symbol KBEV and here in the States under on the uh, over the counter market under the symbol KBEVF. Chris, thank you so much for all your time today. This has been great and I look forward to uh, speaking with you in the not too distant future. Thank you. So, so great to be on the show, Rory. Thank you so much.